Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, I have a couple of uh, white Bordeaux uh, next to me, and uh, so I'm going to dig in. One of them is uh, from 2015, and uh, it's got a little bit of semillon in there, and I think it's got a little bit of muscadel, uh, young, zippy, fresh, hopefully. The other one's a year older, but it's all Sauvignon, got a little bit of oak. What's the difference? Let's see if we can see. So, first wine. Uh, it is Chateau Tour de Mirambeau, uh, Blanc, Bordeaux Blanc Reserve. Um, have I got on the details of what's it made from? No, um, no sustainable viticulture, which is, uh, doesn't really mean all that much. It, it means he's the, the, the guy who makes it slightly careful in what he does. Um, but he probably still leaves his fag ends at one end of the row. I hope he doesn't leave his fag ends at one end of the row. I hope he puts them, I hope he doesn't smoke in the first place. Anyway, I'd better shut up and taste, shut up and taste the wine. It smells like he's gonna have a crisp, zesty, zippy style. Um, there's a slightly toasty edge. Um, not from oak, I don't think. I think it's just from a little uh, residual, little bit of sulphur that's, uh, that will dissipate as the wine uh, uh, opens up. I've only just opened it with a screw cap, so I think in a few minutes' time that will go. Uh, behind that, something there's, um, there's like the crisp green edge of Sauvignon, things like green gauge uh, citrus, and a slightly richer, toastier, headier edge of Semillon. As this, a wine like this uh, evolves, uh, the Sauvignon goes from taking centre stage to being a bit more of a not necessarily a bit part player, but uh, it lets the so it lets the semion have its uh, uh, make its presence felt. At the moment, uh, the semion's just a little shy, but anyway, better taste it. So you've got that zip of Sauvignon, those those nice, almost crunchy, what I call spring-like flavours. But then the semion's adding a little bit of uh, oomph to it, and um, we're we're end of August here. Uh, end of August 2016, so it's it's coming up for its first birthday, and the semillon. Um, it's sometimes semillon when you get it really young, it can be really quite. I'm not coming out to play today, but here, it feels like there's uh, it's starting to uh, flex some of its muscles, and so there's a little bit of fatness. That's to say, this toastiness. So you're left with something that has this crispness and freshness, but quite a little bit of weight behind it. I like it. I haven't got a spittoon here, so I'm going to pour that little dribble in. You don't want to see me spitting into a, a clear glass. Anyway, second wine uh, from Chateau Roquefort, and it's their uh, Oaked Cuvée 100% Sauvignon uh, from uh, Au Cœur de Entre Deux Mer, in the heart of the Entre Deux Mer region. Um, and um, uh, aging in barrel confers delicate oaky nuances. Let's see whether that uh, lives up to its belly. And that smoky edge that you get there, that's the impact of oak. You, you, you notice that straight away. But it's not uh, taking over the wine. It doesn't say on the bottle how long uh, uh, the wine has been in that barrel. Um, sometimes when you've got oak to Sauvignon, it can be like the two bits are sitting there fighting with each other. There's the Sauvignon uh, going meh, shriek, 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 and the oak going toasty, toasty, toasty. Here, it smells like they are, uh, they've had time to um, start making beautiful music together. So you're getting this smokiness, still some of that green gauge that was in the first one, but um, smells really good. And then when I come to taste it, there's a bit of me that thinks, I wish they'd put a little bit of the semi on that was in the first one there, because uh, the semi on there, it's got this slightly, um, yes, it's got that herbal, herbaceous character, um, and it's just got a little bit, ever so slightly, tinned vegetables. Uh, there's this nice smoky green gauge, a little bit of uh, the tinned pear character that I get in uh, a lot of oaked white Bordeaux. And um, which do I prefer? Uh, I think I would like the first one uh, oaked in the way that the second one has been oaked. Is that a fair compromise? I like them both. Uh, I certainly would uh, uh, proffer my glass for a, uh, a refill, maybe even a second time. Uh, but I think in both instances, uh, there was maybe a better wine to be made. Oh, I don't know. The, the Mirambo, that's how it, how it should be. Young, fresh, zippy, but with weight. The Roquefort, I think a little bit more semillon in there would have uh, just uh, knocked some of those angles off that makes it uh, maybe not quite the wine I wanted it to be. I still like it though. See you soon.